Beach House on Shutter. It's now this one that I had. I saw the trailer for it when it first came out. This one's at least a couple months old, but I saw the trailer for it when it first came out, and I was like, "This looks kind of boring." But people were talking it up, and I read some reviews where people were talking it up, and there's some people adding it to their list on YouTube channels. And I was like, "Well, maybe I should go check this one out because the trailer doesn't really reveal how freaky it gets." But what it is is basically it's this couple, this like college couple that they're arguing, and they go to their dad's beach house to to basically resolve all these problems that they've had. And then they find there's another couple that's there that are friends of his father's. And they start to kind of get along and then they decide they're all gonna do drugs together. And when they're all drugged up, everybody gets really wasted. And all of a sudden this bacterial infection takes over the island and everything gets enveloped in this fog or like this gas and it's turning different colors. And people basically start to become one with the sea. So basically the sea starts turning people into sea creatures. Sort of it reminds me of like a little bit of a Dagon element, but there's a very, and it's almost like the first half of it starts out like an episode of my so-called life or some sort of teen drama, like Dawson's Creek sort of teen drama. And then it just turns into this weird like version of the fog where people are turning into creatures and it just keeps building. It's a little bit of a slow burn, but it is freaky. It's unsettling all the way through. And, the, and they really go for these creatures to look disgusting and gnarly and freaky. And there's a, a section, um, it's right about when the bacterial infection starts happening, everybody starts getting sick and turning into different people before they become sea creatures. Well, this girl has like a little, this itching in her foot and she's digging at it and she's digging at it. And then she opens it up and there's an eyeball looking at her. And there's this little worm sea creature that starts with an eyeball and then leads down to this warm body that she has to rip out of her foot. And then everything just keeps getting worse and the monsters keep getting more grotesque, but it's, it's a pretty cool movie. And it so definitely it, stayed with me. The reason I picked it is because it stayed with me. I watched several movies on shutter, but this one stuck in my head because it was so unsettling. So what kind of, what kind of budget do you think it had? I mean, I don't know. I have not seen it, seen it, but uh, I love when people try to yeah. do monster movies on a low budget, just because hey, if they pull it off, that's pretty awesome. Like, so was, yeah. it, pra was it practical effects? Uh, yes, it looked, it looked definitely mostly practical effects, probably aside from like the fog and everything else, but like some of the creature effects and everything were definitely practical. Could that's have cool. been a little bit of a mix, but they definitely looked practical in a lot of spots. Um, yeah. So it was, did have like a little bit of that slither style and then also uh, shit, what was the what was the Cronenberg Shivers, the Cronenberg sure, one? I think yeah. it's gone by a different title but before, but has like elements of those. In there. I, uh, you know, I I, no, I got to check it out now because I haven't seen it. But kudos to anyone who's on a low budget doing practical effects for a monster movie because it actually is kind of funny. Like I'll look around on Shutter and stuff, and 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 you know, like and looking for those kind of unfound monster movies. Like when you look at stuff like now this week, Godzilla Kong is coming out. You're talking yeah. about a monster movie there, but. You know, the more I see the trailers, I mean, yeah, this is CG effects, and 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 I'm and I'm watching it because I want to see two creatures fuck each other up, obviously. Yeah. But there's also something about those low key monster movies, mm -hmm. and it's gonna be like low, you know, sort of cool practical effects that, that that create a bigger picture and stuff. And I and I always love when people work with a lower lower budget and make it happen because I think that's, I mean, think about it, that's back 20 years ago, everyone was doing it that way, right? Like I've yeah. I've read I've read all the Tom Savini books on how they did all the Friday the 13th tricks and all the hoses with blood and shit. I think it's really cool when people are doing that stuff. So it looks to me like something that could have been made for about like a hundred grand. I don't know how much they spent on the effects or anything else, but it, it's pretty much just stays at the same location. It doesn't, there's only about like, and there's only four main characters in the movie. Yeah. And I'm, I'm talking about this, not having seen even the trailer yeah. for it because you're just dropping it on me now, but I love the idea. I think that's kind of cool. Like you've got your, it's a monster movie at a beach house and, and like just coming up with something around it to make it work. I, I love the idea. I'll have to and check that one out. They do have these like long takes that work effectively well. Like the camera will just stay on this girl as she's watching these people turn into creatures around her and this fog is enveloping everyone. Everybody's having a hard time breathing, getting sick. And they'll just stay on her with these long take shots that she's pretty much like shitting herself in the corner, just mm -hmm. expecting to die at any moment. And it's like survival for every couple of seconds that it goes across because it could keep throwing stuff at her, but... That's awesome. We're gonna have to check that one. 